What is up chosen ones, it's a boy Shuriki with some Pokemon for you This game got updated, I think it's version 0, 0 0.2 or I think it's 2.02, something like that. But anyways, we're here again and this looks fantastic. The, the, the starting screen looks amazing. Anyways, yeah, let's just jump into Pokemon Voyager. So, apparently lots of stuff are changed up, so I was gonna like wait until I reach like where I left off. I think that was the second gym badge before I started to make video on this again, but lots of stuff I changed up, so uh, I'm just gonna start over. So, yeah, this is part one. Ages ago, a cataclysmic event opened landmasses across the globe. Sea levels rose to unprecedented levels, forcing a mass migration of mankind and Pokemon like to the high altitude region of Kiplara. Welcome to Pokemon Voyager. Before we get your adventure underway, let's handle a few game settings. What's your stat? My stat is me. I still wonder why they have like masculine, feminine, like. I just. I feel like male and female is fine. Anyways, male. Ooh, okay. This. I didn't think they show us this at the first part, so we can pick anyone at this. Okay. So. We got the pajama, groggy, clashes. Okay, we got determined, adamant, azure, chill. We got Save, hipster, draconic. I mean, the draconic doesn't really look bad. Kind of looks pretty cool. I've never tried it before. Should I or should I go with this? Cause I think we can buy clo clothing, so we I think we can get this later down. So, ah. Uh, I think, what do I want to go with, by the way? I mean, obviously this doesn't look bad at all. But I think I'm going to go with this. Then I'm going to go with that. Yeah. My skin tone. Uh, I think it's fine right here. Yeah. Let's go. Looking good. You can visit the Ajamela City Salon to purchase more outfit options at any time. Now, let's handle some difficulty settings. Okie dokie. So, base difficulty, classic data scaling, scale while entering Pokemon levels 5 is as developer intended. Okie dokie. Puzzles easy, yeah, because I, the first puzzle was kind of hard. Uh, party limit. Yeah, I, I think we're good. So, yeah, I think we're good. Time. Uh, what time is it right now? I think I'm gonna let it stay at this for now. Good timing. It looks like you are starting to wake up. Your Pokemon Adventure waits. Oh, we kinda look cool, bro. Yo, hey, you're finally awake and dressed. It's good that at least one of us is relaxing off the sleep well. Your mama has some butterflies for sure, but you and I still have some boxes to move up at up at him. In case you're too groggy to remember, you can press B to run. Let's not fall behind schedule. Don't worry, Dad. At least I think he's our dad. Mo quest unlock moving boxes all right yo we look pretty we look pretty legit bro nice i like this all right anyways oh lots of stuff are really changed up i remember all these let's give it a quick save everything's new uh windows is updating go figure okay my boy has them windows you know what i'm saying i wonder if it's like a windows 10 or something so we can wait so we have yo it's gonna look sick, bro. We look like a superhero, bro. Draco man. I think I think that's what this. I th yeah, Draconic. That'd be a great superhero name, you know, Draco man or Draco. All right, but anyways, this looks pretty legit. I'm not lying. Like this, I kind of feel like, bro. It's a pretty tough choice. But enough of being a superhero. Uh, let's check this out. Look like a pretty yo. We look like a businessman, bro. Yo, all right. Ah, uh, chill. I remember this one, Adamant Azure. This one looks pretty legit too, you know? And what about Hipster? Ah, uh, yeah, some kind of nerd thing. Yeah, not gonna work out, bro. I'm gonna go with my Mellow Moonstone. I think that's the name of this, or Moonlight, something like that. Anyways, let's get popping. Let's get popping. Alright, can't check that. Let's go down here. Let's continue on. Let's get a move on. We don't have a whole lot of time. The new guys is supposed to open in less than an hour. And I'm sure your mom will have lots of challenges lined up at the entrance well before that. 
that's nothing new for her. Of course, but the top floor of the Poké Megaplex is quite a grand place to run a gym. You can see the whole city from the top. Let's get going. I remember all these. Ah, my leg. Ah, are you alright? Good. I'm glad you're okay. I think my leg is broken. I don't think I can stand up. Can you go find help? The stairs are blocked. Shoot. We need to find a way out of here. Because there's a cave on the other side of that wall. That sounds pretty dangerous. Is there anything else we could try? Alright, I suppose it might be the only way out. I don't want you to go alone though. I left my Pokemon team at home, but I do have a few Pokemon. I was just starting to train. Here. Nice. Take these potions and full heals too. You may need them if your Pokemon are hurt in battle. Nice. Nice. Sweet. A rock slide has injured Dad and trapped us in the basement, but it also damaged the walls and revealed a cave on the other side. I should explore to see if there's a way out. I know you haven't ever handled Pokemon before, but they say hands-on is the best way to learn. I hope you won't need them though. Go ahead and search for help or a way out, but come back immediately if you feel unsafe. I don't remember there ever been earthquakes in Ajameda City before. It really couldn't have happened at the worst time. You know, I kind of feel like I'm going to change the outfit. You know, purple is never really my strong suit. But we'll keep rocking it for now. Although we do look pretty cool, I'm just saying. Alright. Nope. Alright, we can't get that. Go figure, there's a big rock in front of it. Bro, so many mons, bro. Oh, we gotta fight this one. Alright. Nice. Also, I think I might pick a different starter. We used um, Keep Vine the first time. I think I might choose something else. Like, I think I might choose this C one. This time, I mean, Keep Vine is pretty cute. And it's really good. But I think I'm gonna choose something different this time. I don't know, like... Probably, ooh, Jotic, not bad, but... Gonna be capturing all fake ones. I think I'm gonna choose this one. This one looks pretty rad. So I think I'm gonna choose this one. I mean, I used Keep Vine, obviously. So... I'm gonna be using that one next. Let's get you this cave pretty quick. We already know half of these stuff. Because, obviously, we played, we played the game already, so... We know what to do and what to expect. Kinda, anyways, you know. Ah, so annoying, man. You have to fight them every time you encounter them. And then, the worst thing is that they keep on using sand attack. Like, come on, man. Wait, I should probably switch to Ryad right now. Ryad, Ryad. I think that's how it's called. Uh, it does look pretty cool, too. So, I'm not going to complain. But I want to try it. Oh, forgot. Damn it. Then we have to fight all of you guys. Sheesh. Such a pain, man. Such a pain. Nice. Also, you know, we should look out for Pokemon Emerald Enhance. Like, that thing got 4.3k views, bro. And I am I kind of excited to get back to Pokemon Emerald Enhance. Because, like, I didn't even think it was going to get that much views. But it actually did. And likes. So, yeah, look out for it. It's come back pretty soon. It sounds like there is something on the other side of the wall. Call for help? Yeah. Uh, hello. Hey, Janus. There's some kid on the other side of this wall. We need help. Get over here. Yeah, perfect. Get your light run. Hey, kid. Just hold on. We're coming. Just step back from the wall first, okay? Damn. What is this place? How did he get in here? Whoa, you look pretty beat up. Never mind that now. My buddy Janus went for help. Let's get you out of here. All right. Glenn, you're awake. We're both so anxious. How do you feel? Huh. Don't worry about me. I'm tougher than I look. I actually feel great. Man saying that with grey ears on his head. Except for my broken leg. <laughs> thanks for braving thanks for braving the cave. You handled those Pokemon really well. You must take after your mother. Don't sell yourself short, Glenn. Your father's right though. You showed a lot of talent for trading Pokemon. I'm sure the bureaucracy will agree. Your, your successful expedition should the fatally earned you 
an honorage admission to the Pokemon Trainer School. I spend the political capital if I must, you are clearly ready. I can only agree. For how well you did, the school almost seems like a waste of time, but it's the best place to get your trainer's license. I can tell you I've already found a stromble with Pokemon Island Key. How about you pick one of them? Alright, here we go. I mean, I do love Kickbine, it's pretty cute, and I do love Grass type, but we have used it before, so we're gonna go with Ryan. Yep. Ancient Irish folklore indicates these creatures are the spirits of beautiful maidens. Mm, I do love some beautiful maidens, you know. <laughs> Alright, great choice, honey. It's so cute. Trainers often nickname their Pokemon to form a stronger bond with them. Do you want to give that little guy a nickname? Uh, what? I I try trying to remember an anime name because I could have sworn anime have like maiden in them. Like, oh yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Mistake. I remember it. Like they, come on, man. They usually say like Val, Valkyrie Maiden, Valkyrie Maiden. How do you spell it again? Valkyrie. Uh, yeah, I have no idea how I spell it again. Val. How do you spell that again? I think something like this. Valkyrie, Valkyrie Maiden, something like this. Anyways. I, I I think. Look at you. You own your first Pokemon. I hello. May I interrupt? My name is Professor Arcturus. I run the Archaeology Institute here in Andromeda Village. Nice to meet you, Professor. Call me Glenn. I'm a detective in the Andromeda City Police Department, and I'm Luna, leader of the Pokemon Gym that was supposed to open today. Wonderful. And you are my name. I didn't even realize I didn't even have a name. <laughs> All right. Let's give this boy a name real quick. Nice. So is Shariki. Yes, good. I heard about what happened this morning on the news. I'm here to ask you about it. Of course, I can only imagine how, excite, how exciting an undiscovered cave below our city must be for. Yes. Shariki, I understand that you found an artifact in the cave. May I examine it? Alright, thank you. Hmm. I have never seen anything like this before. I am, I, am bo I am borrowing this for further studies. I'll return it to you once I have learned what it is. Okay. My team of archaeologists have set up in the old gym. Please, come there with me. We would like to interview you in more details and have you show us where you found this artifact. Hold on. Shirky needs to attend the trainer school first. He doesn't have his trainer's license yet. Shirky has a lot of natural talent, so I'm sure you won't be waiting long. Very well. My son started on the trainer school very recently as well. Perhaps you will meet him. You must be very talented to have handled that Ryad with no prior instructions. It's quite a rare Pokemon. I would like a rare Pokemon for my son's daughter too. They only let you catch certain domesticated Pokemon at the trainer's school. For my son, that will not do. Glenn, I understand you also lent Shariki a Kipvine. I believe they are also quite a rare species. Tell me where you found it. Ah, uh, you should be able to find it in Nerid Rainforest. Excellent. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you at the cave sign. Alright. Well, Brevity is the soul of wit, they say. Okay, maybe they do say that, but I don't feel very amused. Still, Shariki, this is a very unique opportunity. I'm sure you will learn a lot by working with, with, with him. But first, you need a trainer's license. Go get some rest, Shariki. I'll stay here with your dad. When you have rested up, you should head over to the trainer's school. and make sure they know you are coming. The school is in Ajameda Park, west of the villa. Here, take the house key so you can let yourself in. Nice. Quest unlock. The mysterious shard. Quest, un quest unlock Antar's contender. So how do we check like the journal? Yeah, here it is. All right, so challenge Kepler gym leader and become the Antar's league champion. Investigate the strange shard found in the buried cave in the buried caverns for Professor Arcturus. Okay, we have yet to complete that, but we have completed that already. Nice. No, have the windows finished yet? Still updating, bro. Like, why were you updating, bro? Like, you updated to like. Windows 10 or something, dude. Anyways, wanted to give my outfit a quick. I wanted to check out every single outfit there is. So it's draconic. Draco man. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Yo, the cave looks really fantastic. Look at me, dude. So cool. Alright, anyways, let's go. Oh, Shriek, you're awake. Did you have a good wait? Did wait? Did this happen? I I don't I don't quite remember. Are you excited for the training school? Your father is doing very well. We, fig we figured I should stop at home to check on the house after the earthquake. Looks like everything is fine. What fun that I can also give you a proper send off to the trainer school. When you're ready to go, I'll be waiting outside. Okay. 
There you are, ready to go. The earthquake has been quite the talk of the town, you know. The expedition notwithstanding. Lots of places will be closed down for a little while. My new gym too. It's a shame. I was itching to dish out some humility in those sweet new days. Who knew that all those old battles were going to were going on above a mysterious subterrain? Okay, we're at the hospital again, so I'll branch off here. The trainer school is just across the bridge to the west, and I wouldn't want to embarrass you in front of all your future classmates. Oh, I absolutely would, but I respect your need for independence. The moment I step away from this spot, your Pokemon adventure begins in earnest. Who knows what what who knows what kinds of wild adventures you'll have? Moments full of trepidation, puzzles, tactics, and dangers. The real kind of danger. Don't do anything stupid or you'll be grounded. Someday I'll tell you my own story, not the censored version I told you when you were younger. The next time I see you, I suppose you'll be my gym challenger. But you're always going to be my son first. Love you always. Make us proud. Don't worry, mom. I got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. Anyways. Let's go explore. We've already speak, spoken to like everyone in our last page, which I think was a couple months ago. So yeah, new update. Uh, we can be expecting some new stuff. I didn't think I saw that in the last playthrough. You know where mom walked us here and talked to us. So lots of things are changed up. Anyway, first off, uh, let me go in here. Uh, where's the Pokemon Center? Right? I think I is this the Pokemon Center? Uh, hello there. I'm sorry. Dejamina Clinic is for healing people, not Pokemon. You want to take your Pokemon to the Pokemegaplex on the southeastern side of the city. Take care now. Okay. Yo, I come here every day to pay a visit to the sick children. Those poor dearies need as much love as they can get. Keep doing your thing. The Chansey doesn't seem to be willing to move. Okie dokie. I was climbing the rocks to get to Ajamida Horn and fell and broke my leg. My dream was to become a world class Pokemon trainer and catch a shiny Pokemon. Have you ever seen one? I'd give anything for one someday. Oh, so we can get a shiny. We got a next one. Ah, uh, showed little boy in Ajamida Clinic a real shiny. I mean, I would love to capture one and give it to him, seeing as that his leg is broken, you know? Uh, my husband was supposed to meet me for lunch after his shift. I suppose he got held up in the operating room. Okay. How's it going there? The fresh air feels really good after a long shift. Too bad my break is over soon. Okay. Uh. Hello there. I'm expecting a letter from my daughter who lives in Regal City. They say a watch pot never bores. Does a watch mailbox receive mails? Let's get moving. Yo, how's it going there? Hello. How are you? In interaction complete. Okay. Look like one of them geek person. Uh, 39 for the surf taxi is a rough place to be. I'm going to be here for a while. Ah, uh, at least I'm not 49, okay? Uh, I hope the taxi comes back soon. I'm working on some marble sculpture at home. I'm really anxious they have been damaged by the earthquake. Wait, taxi? On like, ocean? You gotta be kidding me. Where were you when the earthquake hit? I was getting swirled in my dojo. Hee okay. I mean, I was exploring some hidden cavern. Cause I'm just that cool. Ha, ha. The sand is so soft, my calves are burning. Okay. Yo, what's poppin' there? I just finished a killer workout. 10 by 400 meters in sand, I need some fresh water, okay? Uh, the sun is just unbearable today. I'm taking a long break in here. I hope my husband doesn't miss me, okay? Ah, uh, hello. We're the beach house owners, Tina and Tony. How about a nice refreshment to cool off? Sure. That's $200. Should I be buying that though? Probably not. Ah, uh, hello, we're the beach owners. Uh, let's just get a uh, couple of these. Yeah, I take that. I mean, I think potion is like three hundred dollars. Engage. Let's engage. Ooh, all right. Let's start with this. Oh, I forgot. Damn. And he ran away. Ajamida Park, Ajamida Villa, Ajamida Horn. Okay, a map of Ajamida Villa. Take a look. Cool. Alright, let's go. Uh, anywhere else for me to explore? Okay. Oh, I see. You're back for another one of my quirky questions. Alright then, let's try this one. What is the name of our region? Keplara. Amazing, you're correct. You have exceeded my expectations. You should take this as a prize. Sweet. I shall eagerly await your return. Alright, sadly, you'll have to wait until tomorrow to attempt my question again. Study up. Alright, I will be sure to do so. I didn't think that was there as well. So much stuff. Change up. Nice. And we got a tons of costume. You know. At the start. Which is pretty cool. Pretty rad. I like it. And we can also buy. 
costumes. Sweet. Yo, how's it going? Do you like my berry garden? I have to renew my permit with the city council soon. Tell them to enjoy tell them to enjoy my garden at their next meeting. I mean I can't tell them to you know enjoy if they don't if, if they don't you know want to enjoy it. Hey, sorry pal, but this bridge has been damaged by the earthquake. Construction crew needs to fix it up so you can pass. Okay. Wait, did she just say something again? The Northwest Bridge into Adamana Park has already been checked, so it should be clear. Okay, stop it in School. School yo! I was all ready to open a martial arts dojo in that old gym, but no, Professor Arcturus had to lobby the city council to, to designate it an, archae an archaeological site instead. Surely he can't find things to excavate, excavate forever, right? I mean, I don't know about that. Probably. Yo, how's it going, there, dude? Hello, Clem. Clemniops, Klemniop here, I think. I'm one of the lead developers at Pokemon Voyager. Yo, hey there, dude. How are you enjoying the game so far? I can see you have just begun your adventure. Want to have a go against the playtesting team I left Ajamina Villa with? Sure. Alright, let's keep it friendly. Aw, oh, come on, dude. That's just overkill, man. Yeah. I was going to lose. It, it was pretty obvious I was going to lose. He started off with one of those mons, and obviously if I had like a water type move, I would probably win. Did you know Ajamada City is named after the Ajamada Galaxy? It's the closest galaxy to our own. But we're going to challenge him again soon. So... Wait, what? People have no strong opinion about you one way or another. Uh, I'm the Cherry's chick. If there's a public relation... If there's a public creation crisis to handle, I'm your girl. Say, they've got quite a repertoire. Do you want to know your public image? Yes. Alright, let me consult my notes. People have no strong opinion about you one way or another. Okay, that's because we haven't won any badges or stuff yet. Oh, hi there. Some people call me the Dex Tech. I, I don't see a Pokedex on you, so you must not care. Okay, uh, probably we can come back. Probably we can come back once you have a Pokedex. I just transferred my Yamask into a, a Tome Ball for flavored reasons. Okay, I can't sell Pokeballs to unlicensed the trainers. Okay. Uh, I come here for all my Pokeballs needs. Oh, so that's where we can buy stuff. Welcome, I'm the Pokeball Transport Expert. I'm good. Alright, let's go up here. Alright. Welcome to the Name Raider. Choose one of your champions for our first nickname. Oh, wait. I already gave him a nickname. Sorry, bro. How's it going? Welcome to the Raider Calf. How can I help you? I'm just running through like the game because I like, obviously... I have played the game before, so I know, you know, a couple, I know lots of this stuff, not a couple, but like, lots of what these guys say, but don't quite remember everything, I want all sorts of things, but I used up my allowance, wouldn't it be nice if there were a spell that made money appear when you wag left finger, if you want I can teach your Pokemon to move metronome, money won't appear, but your Pokemon will wag waggle a finger, uh, I'm good, alright, let's keep at it. Uh, some Pokemon learn great bad moves at an early level, so the move reminder is invaluable. Cool. Uh, I'm reading a great book that I got from the Ajamada City Public Library over in Ajamada Park. Some Pokemon trainers claim to have gained a lot of bad knowledge from those books. Uh, hey, my Pokemon totally lose. It's cooler than any Pokemon. I was slipping off with a swagger in my step like that when the chairman shoot me out. That took the swagger out of my step, so if you like, I'll teach the move swagger to a Pokemon of yours. Uh, should I? Alright, so we got the move. Cool. Yo, this guy looks cool. One of the train is a real gamble. I traded my excursion and got a slowpoke in return. Oh, that's not good, bro. I have a Ragaif that is strong, but I have gone quite bored of it. This little one I could trade with pride. Would you like to trade me a Gilbert for one? I don't have one, but I know where I can find a Ragaif, so yeah, that won't be necessary. Can I talk to you? Nope. And I can't get over there as well. Cool. How's it going there? Did you know Kepler cities that contest Pokemon gyms are named after success success successively larger stars in the universe? Isn't that just so flavorful? I think. Okay, how's it going? Where's Luna? Doesn't she know how valuable my time is? Yep, you'll be waiting for a while because she is with my dad. You know, got his ankle broke. Alright, let's go down. Can we go down and explore? Can we? Oh, we can. Okay. Yo, are you looking for Professor Arcturus? I believe he said he would be waiting for you in the old gym. Are you looking for Professor Arcturus? Nope. Yo, these guys don't even turn around and talk to me, bro. Like, 
You're so fixated on your work. Bro, can I steal this again? It's a strange shot I found in the buried cavern. Was it always glowing this way? Perhaps it was too dirty to tell before. Okay, so it looks like they did some kind of cleaning and stuff. Alright. Can we check anything else in here? Everything seems a okay -o. So, alright. So I think that's all there is in... I think this is the Poke Megaplex. Yeah, the Poke Megaplex. So that's all there is in the Poke Megaplex. Before I get any more deeper down into this, before I go to the school, there's some stuff that I want to do. Alright, there we go. Now let's give... Yo, the game got updated real good, bro. Like, I'm enjoying this. A man of my stature always needs to repel unwanted fans and elevator pitches here. You should have this in the case you need a rep in case you need to repel anything yourself. Thanks, bro. Thank you very much. I'll take it. Uh, I was a great Pokemon collector in my youth. I must have uh, had every rare species in my storage system at one point or another. I do miss it though. Say, do you have a rare Pokemon you could show me for all time's sake? Yeah. Uh, how about this? Haha. <laughs> nope. Probably you want to see like a legendary one or something. I don't know. But if it's a legendary, then once we get a legendary, we'll come back and we'll show you. I'm sorry. I'm in the middle of a phone call with a tenant. You'll have to wait your turn. Okie dokie. Probably we can come back later and who knows, something might happen. Uh, where am I going? Like, this place is so huge. So many places to, you know, like, check out. It's, <laughs> it's unbelievable. Alright. Uh, I think this is what takes up most of my time, the exploring. But it's always fun to explore, so not complaining. Can't go there yet. My house. Yo, how's it going? Probably shouldn't have ignored it. I kind of want to fight it. Let's engage. I like the background as well. Damn, I'm getting clawed. I'm getting clawed, bro. Woo. What? What the what? Whoa, what the freak just happened? Yo, what? You know what? Yeah, I don't know what just happened. Like, obviously, I went to that like that wild Pokemon and tried to fight it, and it had like I think six months, bro. Like, what is a Pokemon doing with Pokemon? It's pretty weird, bro. Anyways, changing my costume before I go again. Adamant Azure, sweet. Looking pretty rad now. All right, let's begin our. Well, I mean, I mean, obviously, I was already doing my adventure thing uh welcome to gender change name change okie dokie all right so they can change your genders that's pretty rad hello Cle clemniops here i'm one of the lead developers of pokemon voyager this area is not complete yet but i know you have to turn around you will get to explore here someday thanks for playing you're welcome dude all right is there like anything that I can take? Any items? Any anything? Oh, nice. We got protein. Sweet. Anything else? No. Ah. Uh, oh. Okay. Alright. So let's continue on. Listen well, my friends. Ooh, this looks so cool, man. We have been privileged. For centuries, we have lived in harmony alongside each other and alongside the Pokemon of the Plora. We have lived comfortably, but our populations is growing. And an island cannot grow. We have reached a point where further expansions come at the cost of great destruction. There's no more room for our cities and villages. The forests of this island are too thick to cut down. The mountains are too dense to drill. The lakes are too deep to drain. And even if we could expand it anymore, we would only be sh shoving our problems onto the Pokemon whose homes we would have destroyed. For decades, we have searched for others to house us. We have found none. Kaplar is alone, and thus we are stranded upon it. But there's another way to make room for humanity to reach its full potential. We must take to the stars. There's no more room for us to understand. But the galaxy is vast, and we will find a new home for humanity within the cosmic stuff. Okay, okay. I like that girl's pride over there. The one in the blue hat. It's pretty cool. Pretty bad. But I am not here to gather your support for the Kapara Space Agency. They do not understand our problem. They think space exploration is an academic pursuit. They are constant. They, they are content to play with their toys in their laboratories and the 
solely focus on this planet that we continue to outgrow. That's more effective than yelling at people on the street though. A good insight friend, this is all of our problem though and we must all work towards a solution. I am here to tell you about that solution. Team Nova. We of Team Nova are devoted towards the expansion of humanity into space. Join us and we will direct you to be as effective as possible in achieving this goal. Why should I trust you to tell me what to do? This sounds like a scam. This way tells us not to trust organizations with funny names. <laughs> You will trust us because there is no one else willing to do what it takes to coordinate the survival of all of humanity and Pokemon. That sounds like an excellent reason not to trust you. Is this your first time trying to recruit people? I've had enough of you. Stand down. I'm gonna get that man. Again. This sign looks so cool, bro. Get out of my way, kid. Team Nova recruiter has sent out Fixist. Go, Fixist. Alright. Uh. Oh, God. This might not be the best, best thing. But we got this. We got this. Oh my god, come on, man. We ain't never gonna yield, bro. What are you talking about? We be fighting, bro. Paralyzed or not. Come on, man. Really? Okay, nice. No matter. I suggest you get out of here before my backup arrives. Hey, you there. Do you have any idea how many city codes you are violating right now? I could write you off for yelling at strangers, Pokemon battling outside sanctions areas, and blocking public walkways. I've never heard of your little crusade, but that's no surprise since your best shot of since your best shot at gathering support appears to be accosting people trying to cross the only open bridge. You'll have to spot your nonsense el elsewhere if you want to avoid a hefty ticket. Hmm. <laughs> Very well. Anybody who has further interest in my cause should follow me. Okie dokie. And the rest of you will be hearing from Team Nova soon enough. Okay, so four, I think three persons went with him. Thanks for stalling that guy. What's your name? Ah, you must be Glenn's son. I didn't think you had any trainer license yet. What's the story here? I see. Well, hurry over there and don't let me catch you back in again until you get it. You really made short work of that troublemaker though. I'm sure it won't be long before you're fully licensed. Here, let me heal your, your mom. Thanks. Like him stirring up trouble again, please let the police know everyone, please move along, this is currently the only bridge open between Argentina Park and the village, so we need to keep it clear, take care Shariki. Cool, quest unlock, aggressive recruitment, let's check that out real quick, every quest we get we check, you guys know how it is, probably anyways, alright, learn, learn more about the intentions of the mysterious team Nova, also if you press A, they give you a full like, full synopsis of, of what's going on. On my way to Ajamida Park Trainer School, I found myself in a large crowd. A hostile man was recruiting for some group. I bravely battled him, but got into trouble with the ACPD. Alright. Hey, I'm lost. Can you help me? I'm looking for the Ajamida Park Trainer School. Can you tell me which way the map says to go? Uh, Alright. Uh, I know. It's this way. Wait. Left. It's left. Which way should I go? It's behind this school after the Pokemon. Sorry, I can't help you. Uh, okay. Thanks. I thought I was going to be stuck forever. Oh, I was kind of looking for the option like left to right. So when I saw that, I was like, my mouth was like opened up and like, ah. Oh. But anyways, we're good. Sometimes the surf taxi Pokemon go for a real long time without a fear. I feel so bad. They wait and wait and wait and wait. I spend a lot of time on this bench trying to keep them company. I hope it makes their job a little easier. That's a nice lady. The Vaporeon will ferry you across for 200. Would you like to surf? No thanks. I'm not gonna attack the Vaporeon. Probably unless I want to capture it, you know. But anyways. So that was a taxi that they were talking about. Okie dokie. Well, those people ain't gonna be getting past, you know, getting through. Because, like, obviously, that thing looks like it ain't going back over there. Anyways. Hello there. Welcome to the Adramida City Public Library. Library. The first floor contains history books, the second fiction, and the third first. Ah, oh, cram full of Pokemon books, cram. I ain't seen no book that I can read, Missy. Ah, uh, okay, what was that? Chapter 7, Sea Level Rises. The prominent theory regarding the absence of alternative landmass is that a cataclysmic event in the past caused sea levels to drastically rise. This is estimated to have erased as much as 90% of all life on the planet. There's no consensus as to the cause of the cataclysm. A popular folktale contributes disaster to a fabled great whale. Pokemon referred to in the tale by name Kyogre. Historical records do not endorse the existence of such a Pokemon. 
Fossil records that have washed ashore in the many years since the great disaster indicates that countless Pokemon species were eradicated as a result. Surviving Pokemon species exist to this day on Kaplar. Relatively harsh environments and high altitudes created an intense selective pressure that has led to new species of Pokemon native to Kaplar. This is of course con con conject conject conjectural. <laughs> conjecture but no data indicates the existence of these species prior to the cataclysm. The scramble of mankind to adapt to the new world order deepened the rift between the religious and secular partitions of society. The religion community viewed the hardship as attested by their deity or deities, fabricated as a means of calling humanity of the unfaithful. Conversely, the secular community preferred that the sea level rise was easily explain explainable by the laws of nature as the stiff competition for natural resources turned pokemon species to primitive or even first states tensions continue to rise among the dwindling human population eventually as civil wars erupted between the religious and the secular in the end the secular were able to tame and train the wild pokemon dispassionately and violently allowing them to claim victory today government still adheres to the principles exposed by the victor oh god that was long the rest of the book jones on about historical politics Woo. all right so that was pretty pretty damn long i wonder if they have like more books like this an unnamed hikers logbook of their attempt to climb mount vaster nope <laughs> we'll end that stay if you guys want to see me read that let me know but we'll end that stay for now Reading books is fun. You can actually learn a lot about Pokemon battling. It's given me an edge in battle already. Okay, let's go upstairs. Let's pop in there, old lady. I love this library. It's always so peaceful and you're never too old to learn something new. That's it, old lady. Let them know. I've been searching for a book for my research for ages. Okay, no wonder why you have gray hair right now. You're getting old. This library has the fastest internet in all of Ajumina City. Okay, so you're just here for the Wi-Fi. I'm trying to find a book about unicorn warriors. My man only here for the what? But like, I don't wrong you, bro. Like, there's a place that have Wi-Fi, man. Get at it, man. I don't wrong you. All right, let's go. All right. How is it going there? Uh, Ajumeda City is broken up into four districts: Ajumeda Villa, Ajumeda Park, Ajumeda Square, and Ajumeda Slums. They have a slums down there. All right. Anything there? Oh, it's one of you guys. Can't go there. All right, so it's about time we head over to the school. Like, there's just so much to do here. The Ajumeda City History Museum is the only museum of its kind in all of Kiplar. And we have Ajumeda City History Museum director, Dr. Margaret Hazelwood. Okay. Uh, I'm researching the famous Pokemon train, uh, a trainer. He's the inventor of the Pokeball. Okay. Uh, are you enjoying the museum? Kapler has a fascinating history. You should take this as a souvenir. We got a relic ball, an ancient ball prototype for ancient times. Fair one, the relic ball is purely a gift shop item. It actually causes white Pokemon to faint instead of catching them. It must have been one of Ar Archenar's early prototypes. Okay. Good to know. This space shuttle model model was donated by the Kepler and Space Agency for our science exhibit. It serves as an inspiration to society in the hopes that we might one day soon send humans to outer space coolio all right i think we can go up there soon as that that guy is blocking off the path i'm sorry but our upper floors are close to the public probably one day we can come back there you know anyways nice to know uh we got the relic ball which faint pokemon not capture them is kind of weird but cool this Kapar is the only source of land remaining on the entire globe. I think exploring the sea's search of land would be the noblest of pursuit. Cool. Right? I'm wondering aimlessly around this place, but like, that's how huge this place is right now. Teehee, I love running around this fountain. Okie dokie. Ah. Wait, it's a Lapras now? I thought it was a Vaporeon at first. Anyways. Hey, are you Shariki? Ah. Uh, yeah, you know who I am. So we get to name you. Okay. Uh, usual name. Nice. I'm KJ. I'm Professor Arcturus Sons. Anyways, my dad told me you found some bizarre artifact inside a weird cave beneath the old gym. 
that's pretty wild. I wonder if it can be used to make Pokemon stronger. Well, if there are any secrets to be found from that artifact, my dad is the one to find it. Look at me, I'm rambling. I won't keep you from your trainer's license any longer. I just got mine. Once you have yours too, we can battle. So long, Shuriki. Okay. I met Professor Arcturus son to leave in the trainer's school. He seems to be quite the opposite of his father. He's excited that he just got his license. I guess he'll be challenging the Antars League. Okay. I am very much excited as well. Nice, a normal Pokemon Center. Thank you very much. Let's go get our license real quick. Yo, I'm waiting for my parents to send me money for the registration fee. But it's worth it to attend the best trainer school in Kaplara, okay? Why, hello dear. Did you know I am an alumni from this prestigious institution? No, well, now you do. Cool. Uh, my daughter is attending school at this very moment. I'm going to surprise her when she receives her trainer school, okay? Yo, how's it going there? Hello, welcome to the Ajumada City Pokemon Training School. Here we train bright young students to become region leading Pokemon trainers. May I have your name? Shiriki, oh, you must be leader Luna's son. What can what can I help you with? Uh mission statement. We're here for registration. Would you like to enroll in the trainer school? Uh yes. Fantastic. One thing I like is that you can choose to be rude as well. And that I might be rude, but like probably not now. Let me just update our system here. One second. All set. The first class is called Building Your Team. It's just behind that door to your right. Good luck, Shuriki. I'm officially enrolled in the, in the Ajameda City Training School. I better find the first class, Building Your Team. Ajameda City School Training Grounds. Building Your Team, Building Your Team, Building Your Team. There we go. Wait. What's that? Instructor Thionard. Thionard. I, 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 I think that's how it is. Ah, welcome to Building Your Team. I'm Instructor Thion. I'm just about to start the lesson, so find a spot in the grass area. Alright everyone, gather around me, it's time to start. This class is designed to teach you all about how to catch Pokemon. The teacher is about to lecture. Ah, uh, listen. The general strategy for catching Pokemon is training Pokeballs at Weekend Wild Pokemon. Don't ever try to catch a fellow Pokemon trainer's Pokemon though. It is considered stealing and is very frowned upon. Some, peop some Pokemon may be harder to catch based on their rarity, level, current HP, status, condition and more. For this reason, Pokeball scientists have developed various Pokeball types throughout the years that perform best in certain situations. For example, the Great Ball has a 50% higher chance of catching Pokemon than a regular Pokeball. Another example is Breeder Ball which has a heightened capture rate when used against Pokemon of the same breeding group as your own. There are many other kinds of Pokeballs, so be sure to stock up on them all. Finally, inflicting status conditions also increases the likelihood that the wild Pokemon will be caught, so be sure to teach your Pokemon the right moves for any scenario as well. I think that's just about it covers the basics. Everyone understand? Yes. Of course, the best way to learn is to practice. Uh, you notice we are standing in wild grass. I want all of you to try and catch some Pokemon. Shriki, you came in a little late, so you need some Pokeballs. Here, take these five Pokeballs. Don't feel pressured to catch anything, but it's the best way to learn. Alright, let's go. Benipede, nope. Starly, nope. Can I find a script though? Ah, uh, nope, no handy. You have got enough experience in the wild. Let's see how many Pokemon you have caught. But I didn't even get to catch anything, dude. Well, Shuriki, I've completed the requirements for this course. It looks like you're ready for basic battles. But first, you should have this XP share to help train your newly caught Pokemon. Thanks, dude. Whenever you're ready, just head upstairs and it'll be the first door at the top of the staircase. Good luck in your Pokemon career. I completed my first class and I'm one step closer to being a trainer. Who knew catching Pokemon is so fun? I'm off to find I'm off to find the second and final class. Okay. Wait, I didn't even capture any more. What the freak are you talking about, dude? This is the trainer training ground. Wait, so are we going to be coming back to this place once we like get badges in between? So that means we're not really officially finished with school yet, I think. Uh, okay, keep failing. Sorry that you suck so bad. <laughs> Alright, I think this is it. Uh, hello, welcome to the basics of battle. I'm your teacher, Instructor Ophelia. I just started lecturing, but please join us. Uh, now, where was I? Oh, yes. So in general, the whole purpose of Pokemon battling is to get your opponent down to zero hit points or HP for a shot. Now lecture, what do you do? Listen. Ah, uh, yeah. I know all these. Right, super effectiveness. I get it. As I've said, I already played this game before. Lots of these stuffs are, you know, not new. I remember these stuffs pretty well. Yes. Alright. I know I just threw a lot of information at you, but feel free to speak to me after class for more information on any of these topics. Since you know, I'll know how to battle. Let's try practicing. 
go. Alright, let's go. Alright, same as me. Doing tons of damage. Nice. Sweet. And next mon bro, I'm not taking any chances. I'm not losing. I'm not a loser. Water gun. Nice. Bro, even the squirt looks different. I, I didn't even realize it because I was too busy pummeling him. Sweet kiss, no. The squirt looks so good, bro. Alright, let's go. Yo, everything is just so changed up. It's just so good. Oh my god, I'm dead. I, I'm 100% a dead man right now. If I get hit one more time, dead man confirmed. I am a dead man confirmed. Firm right now. Yeah, Spoken Valley isn't easy. We get hang of it soon though, don't worry. You have battled at least two other students, which means you have completed requirements for this class. Here's your prize for your marvelous battles. Alright, there we go. Finishing this course also means that you have completed the minimum requirements for the school. Congratulations, Shariki. Whenever you're ready, you can head down to the front desk to obtain your trainer's card. So, who's next? Ah, what a fun class. Battling Pokemon trainers is exhilarating. On top of that, I finished the mandatory classes and can officially graduate. Alright, so, got about kicked, but it's fine. It's, it is fine. Yo. Alright. Don't think there's anything else to do. Oh, hello there. I've been teaching here for over 25 years. A few of my students have gone on to become junior leaders and even Hunter's League members. Hey, how do you get in here? This area is for our faculty only. Uh... Why, yes, I am the headmaster of the school. I do hope your classes are going well. Just finished my classes, so. Lemonade, sweet. I want to see if I can get the squid, so probably offline. Off, off screen. What free I just said offline. Uh, congratulations, Sharik. You are officially a graduate of the Ajamada City Training School. First things first, let's take a quick photo of your trainer's card. On three, two, one. Looks great. Let me just print your trainer's card out quickly. Alright, done. Shariki, it is my honor to bestow upon you an official trainer's card from the Ajamada City Trainer's School. You obtained your very own trainer's card. Nice. The trainer card has slots for your gym badges and lots of fun statistics for your Pokemon trainer's career. Finally, you are also awarded your own Pokedex. Sweet. Now it's time to fill it up. Sadly, budget cuts mean we can only give you the most basic model. Apparently, a prominent Pokedex technician is developing model upgrades though. Regardless, the Pokedex keeps track of how many Pokemon you have seen and caught throughout your troubles. It has information on every catalog species in the Kepler region and even some extra space for any species you might discover if you are lucky or adventurous enough. Let me just register this one to your name and you can be on your way. Finish. You are all set to start exploring the region as an official Pokemon trainer. Please, stop by any Kepler region trainer school to take advantage of our alu alumni service. Best of luck, Shreki. Nice. Soul City is next. Alright. Anyways, I th wait. I think I'm gonna end it here, and then like the next episode, like I kind of wanted to check the man because obviously he had some stuff to tell us about the 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 thing he wanted to interrogate us about the the shard that we found. So I think it's best if we head over to him right now and just get that out of the way with yo Pikachu. Hey. I'm gonna ignore you for now. Might come back and battle. I might battle him to get some XP. So you might see me up at like level 12 in the next episode. Ooh, even as Alteria, bro. Ah, oh, that's so rad, man. All right. Where is he? Out of my way, Filt. Ah, uh, the mysterious shard. I came to the old gym to find the professor, but an odd man pushed past me towards the kid. Yeah, bro. I was about to comment on that. Yo. Professor Arctus is going to be furious. I'm no Pokemon trainer. This is way above my pay grade. Oh! Say that Riot looks strong enough to handle whatever is down there. This was supposed to be an easy gig. Good luck, kid. Alright, let's go deal with this real quick. Don't think... I think it's that guy that we saw earlier. Yo, how's it going there, dude? Uh, are you here to take care of that trespasser? You look tough enough. Ah, uh, I mean, I, I hope I am tough enough, you know, you know what I'm saying? Might as well take on a couple of these guys. What did I just get? I don't even... What's that? Oh, we can use the Relic Ball if we want. That's our next cool feature. You can press L to throw Pokeballs, which is good. You know, you don't have to be jumping back in bags every time. That's pretty rad. That's pretty rad. Nice. 
Wait, fear. Oh, oh my god. Oh, don't. Okay, down. Cock on feet for a sec, but I'm good. Let's go. Uh, there. there he is. Am I going the right way, by the way? Let's let me take this one out as well to get some XP. Okay. Alright. Wait a minute. Ah, right, here we are. Curse those knitted workers for delaying my arrival. You there, I seek a treasure of great value to my cause. Gone? Unacceptable. All who have knowledge of this artifact must be eliminated. Okay. And Phage. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. Alright, that did nice damage. Sweet. Ah, uh, will, will I? Cool. We... We have to take this out real quick. If this thing hits, probably next time we're probably dead. Oh my god. Ah, uh, disarming cry. Let's out a charm, charming cry that cannot be evaded. Okie dokie, tail whip. I need to go right now. I'm in a heated battle right now. Nice. Gotta use a uh, fresh water. Dude, I need some training, man. Like, the man is whooping me. Alright. Keep it up. Nice. There we go. Sweet. Defeated by a mere youth? Have I grown lethargic in my exile? This is frightening indeed. Our past shall inevitably intertwine again. Farewell for now, young one. Shrieky, thank you for taking care of that trespasser. This is where you found the artifact? It appears that this artifact is of considerably importance. I shall assign a team to this area to for an especially thorough examination. Your discretion is these mat your discretion in these matters is required. I have permitted my son to gather a gym badge and explore Kepler for further clues. You'll do the same. Should you need access to the cave from no one, I shall let my archaeologist know you are permitted. Take special care not to contaminate anything. I shall see you out. You can find your way out of here, presumably. Presumably. Good luck. I gotta thank you for taking care of that trespasser. Professor Arctos isn't always the most forgiving person. You should have this as a thanks. Thank you, gift. Thank you. Sierra. The peculiar man was raving about the shard I found in the cave. Maybe it is valid. Professor Arctos wants me to search Kepler for more clues about him. Okie dokie. So, I'm gonna go hold a quick healed and uh, fantastic place to end this episode off here. Yeah. Let me see real quick. Don't want anything to happen. Alright, so the game, so far, so good. And I'm really, really enjoying it. Lots of surprise change up. And I think the developer did a great job. And I'm hoping to, you know, I'm hoping that the game, I should say, is fun as I continue on through the game. You know, like, it just doesn't water down, become boring. I hope it continues to be, you know, awesome and fun. Anyways, this is the episode of the new update Pokemon Voyager. I do hope you enjoy. If you do, be sure to smash that like and definitely subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.